Okay, we're going to be trying out Rob Chapman, How to Shred, here in Hiroshima, Japan. He is playing what looks to be a more the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen, a Sahana Wuchu, Wuchil. And I'm here with a brand new Steinberger in black, left-handed, brand new, but the neck pickup doesn't work. Thanks for that. But hey, I'm going to be using the bridge pickup anyway, so let's see, let's get on it here. And what are we going to learn today? Sounds cool. Don't worry about the scale shape or the fact that it's frigid. All it is. Yeah, I don't like anything being frigid at all, so, you know, like my wife these days. But, anyways, not going to worry about it. Is, is that I found these notes easy to play in this particular position. I'm going to teach it to you nice and slow, see if you can build it up, and then I'm going to give you some other mechanisms to express yourself quickly if speed and technique are things that you are interested in. Speed and technique are things I am definitely interested in. Let's shred. Um, I'm tuned to standard. I'm using a Sahana Uchil. He's using a Sahana Uchil, which I've actually ordered myself. It's being made. You know, maybe in the winter I'll be able to play it right now. Let's keep going on the Steinberger. For a nice change. I'm at the fifth fret. I know there are no fret markers, but please bear with me. This is my fifth fret. Love the wood, you love the thing here. But instructional video for beginners, kind of like the fret markers, eh? So we're going to start off. It's three sections that repeat, by the way. And I'm going to give you each and every fret position and note and teach you how to play this. So it starts off, fifth fret, B string. We're going to pick, hammer, and pull. And then we're going to hammer down. Hey, try that. Oops, I better turn on the guitar first, right? Put it in middle mode. Seems to work. Hey, no problem there. Keep on going. At this seventh fret with your third finger, pull off to the fifth fret with your first finger on the same string, and then bring your third finger over to the seventh fret D string. And you're going to hammer that. So this is. Oh, let's go over that again. And then we're going to hammer down at this seventh fret with your third finger, pull off to the fifth fret with your first finger on the same string, and then bring your third finger over to the seventh fret D string. And you're going to hammer that. So this is pick, hammer, pull, hammer, or you can pick that one, pull, and then you can either pick or hammer this one. Now I'm saying... Pick or hammer, let's hammer. It's metal, right? that you can either pick or hammer, because really it's up to you. It's purely just a tonal thing. Do you like I said, we're hammering. Prefer the sound of or do you prefer the sound of obviously Hammer. Do it again. Hey, I think I might have got it. Again, there's not a great deal of difference. That's hammer. That's picked. Okay, they both sound good. Ram the bomb mute.
Now, palm muting will make the biggest difference to this particular kind of lick. Anyway, this I think I said that, but you know, I should be just listening. This is part one. So pick, hammer, pull, hammer or pull, or uh, pick, pull off, and then pick. Let's get that done a few repetitions. So pause the video here and practice this. <laughs> Pause the video, come back. When Rob says to pause, you gotta pause. Okay, so what's a palm muted? Fifth fret. We're gonna hammer. We got to hammer pretty hard on the G string. That's where it work. Let's see if I try picking it. It might be a little bit easier. Hammering on the D string seems a little better, faster than picking it. Okay, we don't want this video to be too long for Rob, so hope you enjoyed that. We'll pause it for now and maybe continue on with another video later on. Anyways, take care everybody. Hope you take care Rob. Salute.